Network analysis is one of the sources that will likely help you find the truth. You may have heard the saying, PCAP, or it didn't happen. And if you haven't heard that yet, well, you're welcome. There are a lot of ways to analyze network data, and it can be extremely overwhelming with the amount of tools that exist. But today I wanted to share with you a tool that I love to use when it comes to network analysis, and that is Zeek, formerly known as Bro. You want to watch till the end because I'll be introducing a bonus tool that you might not be aware of. So what makes Zeek a great tool to analyze network traffic? Well, where do I start? Zeek has the capability to read a PCAT file and break them down into multiple different log categories. So for example, if you were to feed that PCAT file into Zeek, it will likely spit out a con.log file, which is your connections. And if your PCAT file has any HTTP traffic, for example, Zeek will also spit out a HTTP.log file. And if your PCAP has files in them, you guessed it, Zeek will have a files.log log. And you get the point. Zeek makes it extremely easy to zone into a group of logs that will help you identify evil pretty quickly. Oh, and the output of Zeek also has a field called UID also known as unique identifier. This unique identifier is tied to each connection that is found under the con.log file. What this means is that if you identified a suspicious outbound connection found in your con.log file, you can use the UID field to correlate other Zeek files to follow the chain of events. For example, a user visits evil.com using HTTP and downloads malware. The con.log will show you the connection between the source and destination IP. An HTTP.log file will be created because evil.com is running on HTTP. And a files.log will be created as well because the user downloaded malware running on HTTP. Now all of the log files will be separated in their respective categories. But if you were to use the UID found in the con log, you would be able to correlate all of the events to see the bigger picture. Enough of me talking, let me just jump right into Zeek and I'll show you how to install it as well as give you an example of how Zeek looks like. I am on a Ubuntu machine on 22.04. Which reminds me, I will create a video in the future on how we can install Ubuntu for those that don't know how. To begin, let's make sure we have curl installed on our machine. We can do this by opening up terminal by right clicking anywhere on the screen and clicking on open in terminal. From here, we want to type in curl. We notice that it says command curl is not found, so we have to install it. So let's go ahead and do that first. We will type in sudo apt install curl, hit enter, type in your password, and now curl should be downloading and installing on your machine. To verify if curl is installed on your machine, type in curl and hit enter. Now you will get this command instead of saying that it's not found. We want to download Zeek by going to this website, which I will put in the description box down below. Select your operating system. In my case, it is Ubuntu and I will select add repository and install manually. Look for your operating system version. In my case, it is Ubuntu 22.04. I will go and copy the contents and paste it into our terminal. Hit enter. And this will go out and download Zeek for us. Whenever you are prompted, type in Y and hit enter. For the postfix configuration, hit tab and click enter. Since we are on a lab machine, we don't need to set up postfix. So I'll select no configuration and hit enter. Once that is completed, Zeek is successfully installed. Let's head over to the directory where Zeek is currently installed. That is in slash opt slash Zeek slash bin. So we'll type in cd opt Zeek and in. You have the ability to set up Zeek to automatically capture network data and categorize them accordingly. However, in this demo, we will only use Zeek to read a PCAP that we've obtained from malware traffic analysis to see how Zeek works. I'll create a directory under our downloads folder called test. So mkdir, put it into your downloads folder and you want to put it as test. Hit enter. 
Now let's change directories into that test folder. I will type in ls just for the sake of it, making sure that there's nothing in this directory. I went ahead and downloaded a pcat file from malware traffic analysis and unzipped it. Now that we have our pcat file, we can run zeek with a dash r to tell zeek to read the pcat file. Once zeek has completed reading the file, you want to type in ls and we now see a bunch of .log files that we can analyze. I will open up the con.log file and see what kind of contents are in that file by typing in cat con.log and pipe it into head. Now I do know this is a little difficult to see, but from the fields section, we can see that there is a UID field here and that is our unique identifier in which we can use to see if that exists in any other Zeek log files. We can clean up this data by using Zeek's own command called Zeek-cut. If we type in Zeek-cut and hit enter, it will say the command is not found, but it can be installed with Zeek aux. So let's go ahead and install that. Now that that is installed, we can use Zeek-cut to select the fields that we want to be displayed by typing in cat, our log, pipe it into Zeek-cut and put in your field of interest. So for example, cat con.log, I'll pipe it into Zeek-cut. And we did see UID as the field, but I will also add in a couple fields. This is essentially your source and destination IPs. Hit enter. We can see three separate columns, your UID, source IP, and your destination IP. We will copy the specific UID and clear out the screen. And now we will grep it in quotes star.log and hit enter. And look at that. We found additional information that exists in our http.log. And if we were to scroll up a bit, we see also files.log. This scratches the surface in what Zeek can do. It can run scripts for you to perform automation if you like, and it can carve out files so you can perform malware analysis on certain files and many more. You might be wondering, is there a GUI version of Zeek? And the answer is no, unfortunately. But I did mention a bonus tool in the beginning and the bonus tool provides you with the capabilities of Zeek in a GUI version. And that tool is called ZUI, Z-U-I, also known as Brim Security. I'll link this down in the description below so you can go ahead and download it and play around with it. It is exactly like Zeek. You feed in the PCAT and it'll break it down into its respective fields. And you can actually just query the data straight from the tool itself. That is it for the video and I hope you found it informative. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.